Hi guys! As promised in the previous video, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Twitter account after you've created it. I'll also provide you with some simple tips on using Twitter. Run profile which we use to register Twitter accounts. If you haven't seen the Twitter account creation video, check the link in the description. Rename the profiles with usernames for easier reference. Click on set up profile to start editing your profile information. First, let's upload a profile picture. You can head over to the this person does not exist website to grab a random portrait image. Pick any image you like, but please be mindful of the age, avoid selecting images of children. I'll provide the website link in the description. Once you've saved the image, return to the profile setup, upload the image, and hit apply. For this profile, we want to change the image, so refresh the page to get a new one. After uploading, press apply to finalize. Click next to change the cover photo. This is quite simple, go to Google, Search for Facebook cover, choose an image you like, download it, and upload it to your profile. If you see any image quality issues, use a different one. Next, let's create a bio. Make sure your bio relates to what you plan to use the account for. For instance, if you're into making money online, MMO, use make money online. If it's related to airdrops or crypto, specify accordingly. Moving on to location. Since we're using a U.S. proxy, set the location as United States. Finally, click save to complete the account setup process. Take a look at the account you've just set up. If the profiles 3 don't display an image, it might be due to a lag in the proxy network. Don't worry, you can still perform actions as usual. Now, your task is to warm these accounts up. When they meet the criteria, register them to get the coveted blue check mark. Twitter is still expanding opportunities for you to make money by sharing ad revenue. So make sure to get started early, folks. Next, I will provide a quick guide on how to use Twitter for those who are unfamiliar with it. If you already know how to use Twitter, feel free to skip ahead. Home, similar to a Facebook newsfeed, it displays posts from people you follow or content you interest. It shows stats such as views, likes, retweets, similar to shares, and comments. If you repost a tweet, it will display it on your profile. Explore will show trending content. You can search for other users or desired content here. For instance, searching for airdrop will display users and content related to airdrop. You can follow people who are suggested to you. Notifications is the section displaying all notifications, such as comments, likes, etc. Messenger is similar to Facebook's messaging feature. Twitter's list feature is quite useful that you should use. This feature allow you to create lists of users you want to follow related to a specific topic. To create a list, click on the create list icon, then add a name and description for the list. You can create multiple lists for different topics, such as airdrop, make money online, e-commerce, and more. This helps you organize and follow specific content that interests you. If you want to create a private list, click on Make Private. Twitter will automatically suggest accounts related to the topic for you to add to the list. To see updates from specific accounts, visit the corresponding list. Next is Bookmarks, a place to save posts you want to revisit. Community in Twitter is quite similar to Facebook groups. You need to agree to community rules to join. To apply for the blue checkmark, click on Premium section. You can find various settings and support options in Settings and Support section. So, I've just finished guiding you on setting up your Twitter accounts and how to use it, especially for those who are new to Twitter. When warm up your accounts, Avoid spamming follows or comments, as Twitter may suspend your account. Instead, 
focus on liking and reposting content to mimic real user behavior. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.